I'm Al Worfi and I wanted to give a super duper exciting start to this video by talking about something that I think people don't really think about very much. And it's a real tragedy that more people don't think about this concept of wanting to make a video as clickable as possible. And I'm not talking about thumbnails. That's a, a separate thing. That's about the, the picture itself, right, on the YouTube video. But I wanted to do a video where we think about exactly what about a video makes you want to click it. Like, Take a look at like Mr. Beast's stuff. There's a lot of bright colors in the picture. There's a whole lot of uh, money in a lot of his videos, uh, which is great, totally fine. But there's also an element of very cartoony, animated smiles. Like you can tell it's staged, right? You can tell that everything in the thumbnail looks fake. It looks really, really fake. And that's fine. That's editing. That's one way to do a content or to, to make content look clickable. There's also stuff where it's just still images of people in like gameplay stuff. I'm just going based off of my recommended stuff based on what I'm watching. There's news things of people looking serious and like talking to you. There's my style of videos where, uh, you know, you see a picture and it's just me kind of making a pose and then doing some words on the side with an interesting colored background in the background, right? It's just, it's different, right? Um, there's all different kind of techniques. You know, there's these uh, overproduced ones where they try and work so, so hard to get you to click on it, like Corridor Crew here with their, like, you know, clearly, like, they cut out all the, uh, you know, a whole bunch of different pictures and just slapped them on, you know, like they don't even fit within their, like, yellow box or whatever. All of it very uh, produced and manufactured, right? And then there's stuff like Caleb City here who straight up just puts the picture without any words on it. And it's just a picture of himself in like a weird pose or fun costume. There's like people who have provocative things like this guy flying 17,000 feet, right? He's just, it's crazy. No one thinks about it. People want to click on that video. But what's important is to know that the title is going to equally match usually the uh, picture, right? So for Mr. Beast, you know, his bank video, uh, he's going to, uh, you know, rob a bank at $100,000. I notice he uses the word $100,000 a lot in his videos because for a lot of people, that's a lot of money. For him, it's nothing. Because like $64 million, that's, uh, what is it, $640,000 he just earned from that video, which is insane. Um, if we're assuming you get about a dollar per um, view for him, I think he does, something crazy like that. You look at this uh, stuff from Julian Smith here. He's just him kind of showing himself silently, awkwardly in his studio area, doing his best to make something that's completely original and different by just simply sitting in front of a microphone. I'm just sitting in front of a microphone, just talking, but we're going to be talking, you know, for my style, right? I'm making interesting content, talking about YouTube itself. We're looking at YouTube. And I wanted to do some stuff where we go over more channels, but unfortunately we can't do that right now. So let's see what else we got. We got this uh, old seven-year-old thing with 85 million views because it's about soccer. We know soccer is a super um, common, uh, you know, it's a very, one of the most popular sports. I believe it's the most popular sport in general in the world. So that already has appeal for it. You know, you're talking about... I don't know, like if you look at the composition of the image, you can tell he's really focused, but you can tell that ball's going to hit him in the face. So it makes, makes you want to click on it because it's just really interesting to make you want to do something. And then, uh, you know, you look at other stuff, like uh, sometimes it j you just need to have a famous person, like President Obama or Markiplier. He, they, they're already famous, so they can just put themselves in front of it and it becomes famous. Uh, Will Smith is still a very popular thing to be talking about, so if you just put Will Smith in front of it with a title, literally any title, people will watch it pretty much. Uh, it just depends on how lucky you get, like, part of the Will stuff is, Will Smith stuff is that you're just kind of getting lucky on it. I made a Will Smith video. It didn't do that well, but you know what? I don't have a very big reach, so it makes sense that it wouldn't really blow up, right? We can completely understand why that would be the case and uh, how we do need to improve going into the future. You know, there's stuff like Ludwig's videos where he's talking about um, people being canceled, and he has a big red arrow, right? Red arrows seem to be really common. And I guess kind of what I wanted to say about this is that no matter how you want to style your video, I think it's important that it makes sure that you match it, right? I would think that you'd want to make sure that you match what your picture is with the title. And again, I talked about this in my thumbnail one, but I just want to reiterate the fact that you got to make sure that whatever you're trying to get people to click on, it makes them want to click on it. You want to find the most interesting part of the video. Like, if I wanted to, I could just post clip, you know, instead of a thumbnail, I could just post pictures of me sitting here in front of the microphone looking at uh, web pages, right? Because that's essentially what I'm doing. And my stuff isn't the first style to do that. But I've decided to take my own route of making much more um, 
productionized uh, thumbnails to make it more engageable and more clear kind of that it's, it's about me talking but to make sure that the subject is also clear in the video with a slight bit of provocativity so uh, we kind of mix things up a bit right uh, you know and then there's stuff where people get famous because like it looks like they're coding so you have a niche right so that's the other thing if you have like a niche of stuff you want to do then obviously people who are looking for that niche will want will find you my niche essentially right now based on this stuff is some light streams you know casual gameplay people don't really watch it much but hey you know more than welcome to check it out um as well and then my main content now being just making videos talking to people and i think talking to people for me is really important it's therapeutic you know it, it helps people kind of relax you know and i mean you could look like not every mr beast video for example is over dramatized this is just him underwater sitting with a weight you know he could have he probably filmed that in like one second you know you can say spending 24 hours underwater but i bet you he didn't really do that because that's actually physically impossible so he probably had help he probably you know obviously it's a clickbaity title so that's an example of clickbait where like we know for sure he didn't literally spend 24 hours straight underwater because if, if that's real he, they're just lying right we just know that's a lie or you know like i don't know like this one over here is set up to be looking like a meme right the people who made this one the daily dose of internet they set this one up to look as if it's it's like it's a meme right or like a still image you'd find on facebook or something you know or even snl they just all snl does to get high views because they're on tv they just post a picture of this the guest uh, actor which is really interesting all they do is they just put it but then there's other people who put lots of words there's you know the cartoon stuff where it's just a still image uh you know there's uh what other kind of stuff there's weird stuff like uh, Ludwig did where he, he made himself look like a minion just to like draw attention because it color yellow you know there, there's a lot of stuff but then here's the thing there's this this guy right who's just an old dude a 16 second clip it's got 196 or 926 thousand views on youtube why because he's a famous guy for uh being the halo announcer right so cred credibility building up an, a credibility with your work your past work uh, it's kind of like a validating validation process so you got to just kind of be mindful of all that in my opinion and be mindful of when you see go, go on youtube and you look at people you want to emulate understand that what they're doing is ultimately just trying to get you to click on the video right would i mean i would argue that every single one of these videos does a pretty good job i mean granted it's tailored to my preferences but every one of these you know they're, they're designed to to be clickable and i think every one of them does good like the back rooms is really good but you know i could i bet you i bet you i could tell you what i'm gonna do it for those who made it this far this video is gonna have a picture of the back rooms in the background of my video i bet you it's gonna do good and some people who are watching right now you clicked on it just because you saw the back rooms and you want to know how it's connected well welcome to towards the end of the video this is how it's connected to prove a point now what else can we find here? Uh, you know, there's stuff like uh, shorts, right? Or stuff that is meant to look like shorts, where you can uh, see that it's meant to be like TikTok. Um, I don't know. I'm just going off of stuff that's being recommended to me. You know, there's uh, Left 4 Dead mod stuff, where it's just a random mishmash of explosions and, and stuff. And then there's also like really clean, um, you know, styles like like Stream Scheme, right? Great uh, channel, by the way. Definitely go check out Stream Scheme if you would like to be better at streaming he's not really as much for youtube i mean i know this video just happens that he just posted happens to be things about youtube but in general his overall content is about streaming i'd recommend you check him out he's actually pretty informative on things though it does feel a bit overproductionized, uh which isn't really my personal style of presenting uh things to you guys you know but like look you know you see the vid iq right they they put a white text they have an arrow green arrow everyone likes the color green pointing at the big golden thing you know what i mean they're using color right they're really taking advantage of color so there's all these different things right i'm sure as you're looking you're like oh we should look at that oh we should look at that obviously we're not going to i'm not going to click on any of these videos the point is just how do you draw emphasis to something right how do you like do you want to make a video where it's like provocative or do you want to make a video well, like, we're, we're, sorry, we do want to make a video where the image and the title of the video look like something confusing or like a mystery or like a question or something that doesn't make sense. It makes people want to click on it just because they're confused and they want to know what the heck is going on. Or do you want to make a video where you say what it is 
you know, exactly, which is what I used to do. But then I find that there's no mystery. No one really wants to. So right now, for my channel anyway, I'm working on trying to do a blend of both, right? Like you'll guys, we'll see, you know, like you guys saw when you clicked on the video, there's the, uh, you know, the back room's background, um, which is kind of fitting, right? The back room's background. I think that's kind of a good fun thing to say. And I don't know, there's, there's a lot of stuff that you can do. I mean, because like, and then you look at this thing, a two minute video, this person doesn't even have a profile picture on their stuff. It's got 266,000 stuff because they just said an interesting phrase and it's something about submarines. So you think everyone's going to die on a submarine. Do I have a perfect solution for this? No. Is there a perfect way to make your video more clickable? No, absolutely not. You can try and latch on to a trend. You can try and just kind of be original. I would say whatever you decide to go, make sure that whatever you're doing to make your video, video clickable meets the other style. You should have a genuine brand that meets your style of video so that way when people come to your channel, they know what it looks like. They have a feeling when they come to your channel and that I really do think will help build up a community. That's what I'm going for at least. Anyway, as always guys, I'm El Worfi and I'll definitely be seeing you guys next time. Take care everyone.